Okay, let's have the first number. We have 15. Correct! The factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15. So how many factors does it have? Yes! 15 has 4 factors. So how about the factors of 31? Very good! The factors of 31 are 1, 31, and no more. Good job! That means 31 has only two factors, 1 and itself. Do you want another example? Next, what are the factors of 50? Very good, you are correct. The factors are 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. Now, how many factors does it have? Very good! It has 6 factors. Now that you have mastered identifying the factors of a given number, let us now proceed with our new lesson for today. Differentiating prime from composite numbers. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! First, let us define prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that have exactly two factors, one and itself. Examples of these are 2, 5, 7, and 11. Now let's take 2 as an example. So what are the factors of 2? Correct! The factors of 2 are only 1 and itself. Another example is number 13. So what are the factors of 13? The factors are 1 and 13. Very good! Now for our last example, what do you think are the factors of 37? Very good! We only have 1 and 37. Can you follow? Let's proceed. Now how about composite numbers? So composite numbers are numbers that have more than 2 factors. Examples are 4, 9, and 20. Now let's take 4. The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. Now remember that if the factors of the number are the same, you only need to write it once. Let's take 9. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. And for the factors of 20, we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. How about 1? 1 is neither a prime or composite number. 1 is not prime since it only has one divisor, nor a composite since it only has one factor. Did you understand, my dear Matgagaling viewers? Great! To deepen our understanding about prime and composite numbers, we will have a short trip to the mall. Are you excited? Let's go! First, I need to buy a cereal. Where could I find it? This is it! How much does it cost? Correct! It costs 81 pesos. Is 81 a prime or composite number? You're correct! 81 is a composite number because it has more than two factors, which are the following. 1, 3, 9, 27, and 81. Now, let's go to the milk section. Hmm. I need this fresh milk. It costs 37 pesos. Now guys, can you tell me, is 37 a prime or composite number? What is your answer? Yes, your answer is correct. 37 is a prime number because it only has two factors, which are 1 and 37. Are you enjoying our trip? Hmm, I want an apple. Wow, it looks fresh and rosy. But how much does this apple cost? It only costs 30 pesos. It's not expensive, but it's healthy and good. But wait, what do you think is 30? Prime or composite? What is your answer? Yes! You are correct. 30 is a composite number. How can you say so? Because 
30 has more than two factors, which are the following. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Oh, a lemon. How much is it? Wow, it only costs 23 pesos. Now, is 23 a prime or composite number? Yes, you are correct. 23 is a prime number because it only has two factors, 1 and 23. Hey guys! Who among you loves to eat bitter gourd or also known as ampalaya? Great! I am happy to hear that you also love to eat ampalaya. How much is the kilo of ampalaya? Yes, great job! A kilo of ampalaya costs 99 pesos. But the question is, is 99 a prime or a composite? Yes, you're correct! 99 is a composite number since it has a factor of more than 2, which are the following. 1, 3, 9, 11, 33, and 99. Now, it's time to pay for all of these items. Now, I need to pay 81 pesos for the cereals, 37 pesos for the fresh milk, 30 pesos for the apples, 23 pesos for the lemon, and 99 pesos for a kilo of ampalaya. Now, how much do I have to pay for all of these items? Yes, you are correct. These items cost 270 pesos. Okay, we're all set. So, how was our trip? Isn't it great to find math around us? Like in our trip, we differentiated prime and composite numbers using the prices of the items we purchased. Again, prime numbers have exactly two factors, one and itself, while composite numbers have more than two factors. So guys, did you understand our lesson for today? Let's check. Now kindly get your math notebooks and answer the following. Are you ready? So guys, this is what we're going to do. Differentiate the following numbers by identifying if the given number is prime or composite. Just write P if it is prime or C if it is composite. I will give you 30 seconds to answer numbers 1 to 5. Are you ready guys? Game, your time starts now. Okay guys, time's up! Let's see whether your answers are all correct. I want you all to be honest. Okay? So what is your answer in number 1? Yes, correct! 9 is a composite number, therefore your answer should be letter C. Okay? For number 2, 15 is a composite number, so your answer should be letter C. Now for number 3, the number is 43. Is it prime or composite? Very good! It's prime! So your answer should be letter P. Now let's go to number 4. Number 4 is 56. Is 56 a prime or composite? Very good! 56 is a composite number, therefore your answer should be letter C. And for our last number, our last number is 89. Now is 89 a prime or composite? Very good! 89 is a prime number. So our answer is letter P. Let's all give hands to everyone. Well guys, I hope that everyone got a perfect score. Now before we end our discussion today, I want you to copy the given and do this task. Okay? Now you will differentiate the numbers as prime or composite. And you have to draw a star if it is a prime 
and you have to draw a moon if it is a composite. You all did a great job today, guys. And again, I am your matcher, Sir Emil, and I will be with you on our next Matt Ventures. Bye!